Hey guys, Rosita here, your go-to vocal and language coach here on TakeLessons.com and welcome to another episode of Beginning Spanish Sentence Structures. All right, so today our lesson focus is going to be about expressing of how to let others know what someone is doing. Yes, the present continuous. So the sentence structure that we're going to use is the pronoun plus the verb estar, the meaning the verb to be in its present indicative, plus the verb in its gerund form. So using the pronoun will emphasize the subject of the sentence, but it can be omitted if the subject has already been established to the context, makes it obvious to of who or what you are talking about. You are going to use the verb estar, meaning to be in the present indicative, directly followed by a gerund to express that the action is happening in the present. And the complement um, can be anything that gives more details of what someone is doing, whether it be an extra noun, a noun phrase, an adjective, an adverb, etc. So let's talk a little bit about the present continuous here. Now the present continuous or present progressive is used to talk about what the subject is doing now. Now to make the present progressive, we can use different verbs other than the verb estar, meaning to be, such as venir, meaning to come, or ir, to go, or andar, meaning to walk. But in this lesson, we will focus on the pattern using the verb estar. Our structure is going to be the subject plus the present simple of the verb estar plus the gerund. I made a chart for you guys, which you're, here, here it is. So we have yo estoy, tú estás, él, ella, usted está, nosotros, nosotras estamos. Ellos, ellas y ustedes están. Now, let's convert the simple present of the verb estar to the gerund of the verb. We're going to be adding I, A, N, D, O. I, A, N, D, O. We're going to see how to form the gerund. The gerund functions as an adverb and we use it to express um, simultaneous or continuous action. Now note that this construction takes the ando ending after the stem of the regular AR verbs and the yendo ending after the stem of regular of ER and IR verbs. So to find the stem of the verb we're just going to simply remove the infinitive ending. So here we have estudiar. We're just going to drop the a R and then there you have your stem and then we're just going to add ando since estudiar is an A R verb now however we actually must make sure that we do not confuse the usage of the present plus the gerund with the present absolute which is very common actually we know that we use the present absolute to express permanence origin and most importantly here generalization and habitual actions let's compare the two verbal constructions to get a clear picture of this so let's check out the verb um, buscar which means to look for so the absolute presence in the yo form be yo busco I look for then the present continuous will be estoy buscando I am looking for. So basically the yendo and the ando is equivalent to the English ing. Well we know contrasting the absolute present with the present continuous constructions is that the latter is impersonal and expresses the duration of the verbal action. Well, the present in general describes the action of the verb as simultaneous to the moment of speech. What the present plus the gerund construction does, it stretches out the action of the verb so that it's used the same, the same action lasts for the duration of whatever it said about it. Okay, practicamos? See? 
So here are some verbs that we're going to use. We have caminar, meaning to walk. My favorite verb to do, cantar, to sing. Escribir, to write. Escuchar, to listen. Bostezar, which means to yawn. So, shall we practice? All right, let's do this. How would I say he is singing? Él está cantando. How would I say you informally studying? Sí, tú estás estudiando. Perfecto. All right, so here is our review. To let others know what someone is doing, first give the pronoun plus the verb estar in its present indicative followed by a gerund. Well, this will conclude today's class. If you have any questions, go ahead, write those questions on the comment sections below. Or if you guys are watching this at my Take Lessons page, go ahead, click the button that says Ask a Questions. All questions do go directly to me. Also, to keep yourself updated, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Or please, guys, go um, back you know, to my profile if that is easier for you because I'm going to be constantly uploading tips such as this. I'm going to break it down for you guys. I know when it comes to sentence structures and verb conjugations is a little bit tricky if you guys are just starting off to learn Spanish, especially conversationally. Also, if you have like information on my private lessons, please go ahead. If you haven't done so, check out my Take Lessons page. The link is below in the description window. Or go ahead, give Take Lessons a call. Actually, a shout out for the Take Lessons team. They've been absolutely amazing. You know, not only like helping me, but also like helping my students. Um, you know, to have like a better experience and just. They're so on board and trying to make learning as fun and easy as possible using these really cool tools that they're doing right now for our students. A shout out to Steven. Thank you so much, Maria, Angela, I hurt you guys. Katie, you've been amazing. Bill, amazing. The whole team, so. All right guys, hopefully I'll get a chance to talk or even see you soon. Nos vemos, ciao.